Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, there's talk, uh, and it's just all talk, obviously, right? It's just all talk, but, um, you know, there has been some speculation that San Diego State might be the only ad. That's why I've said for a while now, like, I'm super curious about the SMU part of this because that's a kind of a – I feel like a make or break for SMU. I mean, if they don't get into a power conference right now – I mean, I wonder how many more, you know, opportunities there will be. If they don't get into a conference that needs somebody, then, it, yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, they're not right. getting in the Big 12. Yeah. Uh, they're not getting in the SEC. They're not getting in the Big 10. They're not getting in, in the ACC, most likely. I mean, that, that wouldn't seem to make a whole lot of sense either. So, yeah, I mean, this is the big opportunity they've been waiting on. And the Big 12's already gone through a couple rounds of realignment. Uh, here in recent years, they were, you know, at least – talked about talked with but this has had a lot more smoke to it than than any of those uh, other opportunities and so yeah that's the curious part because there is one theory that that says you know hey it's just san diego state and that's whether two teams leave or one team leaves or no teams leave san diego state might be you know in the in the fray regardless uh, although recently you know obviously they've kind of put themselves in the in the middle of a potential problem, but we'll see how that plays out for them. Uh, so, yeah, SMU's a, a curious second piece to this and, and whether they get that nod or not. John, I think it's John Teal uh, on Super Chat. Thank you very much. Dear Brett, I think he's referring to the commissioner. Brett, your mark wouldn't San Diego State versus Houston be good in Mexico? That'd be pretty cool if San Diego was a part of it and, of course, with their connections to the northwest tip of Mexico. Yeah, there just doesn't seem to be much Big 12 San Diego State smoke, though. You know, that seems to be, like we were saying yesterday a bit, that their preference is the pack. The pack's preference seems to be san diego state the holdup is the tv deal or whatever else we're not aware of which there could be plenty that we're not aware of um as as observers and reporters uh but yeah i mean i think that they would be cool in the big 12 in theory but there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of legitimate you know smoke there i think part the big part of that's that they would prefer the pack number one the second part of that is that they're not the priority of the big 12 so they're kind of in that middle ground where you know the Big 12 would only seem to make sense if the Big 12 struck out on the pack and the pack somehow didn't invite San Diego State, which I don't know what the percentages would be on all that, but it seems like one or the other is bound to happen. And so I, I don't really see an avenue for that, but it'd be, it'd be a fun road trip. I'm sure every fan base would love the every other year, or, you know, whatever sport it might be where you get to go out into San Diego. That'd probably be the, the one that a lot of people circle, I'd imagine. All right, from Justin R., uh, I think San Diego State should leave the Mountain West, go independent for a few years until they get a Power 5 invite. That's if they ever get one, including, of course, there appears to be at least that smoke about Pac-12. Also, if they can get a deal that pays around $10 million a year that would make more than any team in the group of five, Justin, I, I'm, not, I'm not being disrespectful. Um, I can't imagine San Diego State going independent. They would get more money than they're getting right now from being a part of the Mountain West. I, 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 I know their basketball team was phenomenal. Football's very exciting. Uh, they're trying to do some things, the stadium, but I can't imagine their value as an independent uh, would get them much at all. The, their deal is stay in the Mountain West, figure it out, move on. Maybe there's a door open again, or they're fortunate and the Pac-12 finds a way to invite them, and then, of course, their money would be uh, a lot higher. Yeah, the only way I see that happening would be if they really did screw up last week and somehow the Pac doesn't want them and the Big 12 isn't interested and they have no choice. Uh, but by choice, yeah, that would be a mistake just because – Ten million is not going to do a whole lot for you, even if it's, you know, you say it's it's more than than what they're getting or whatever. But that's going to be less than whatever the Pac-12 deal is, no matter how bad you speculate it to be. Right. That's still going to be less than, a, like, take the worst case Pac scenario. Ten million is still less than the worst case Pac scenario. Ten million, you would think, and again, and the less the the the, the lowest Pac-12 value you kind of hear is in that 2022 range, somewhere well, around that. Let's yeah. put it this way. If it's $10 million, then the conference is falling apart and yeah. there's teams joining the Big 12. Like That would be a disastrous number, $10 million. So uh, between that and the scheduling issues, I mean, everybody's so locked into these giant conferences now and they're adding conference games uh, or you know, will potentially be in the SEC's case. Um, scheduling's a little bit harder than it used to be. And so I think trying to fill out a, a – you know, a quality schedule would also be 
not impossible, but close to it. So, yeah, there's there's just a lot more negatives that outweigh the positives. They just don't have the brand to carry that. But guess what? Like, basically nobody outside of Notre Dame and maybe maybe a handful of others could, could really do that and pull it off. Or the you know, service academies. Yeah, I even think with Texas getting that deal from the Longhorn Network and ESPN, which was a nice chunk of money every year for a long time, that they were at one point about 10, 12 years ago at a level where they probably could have tried it. Like, I think Stanford can try it. And then Notre Dame, of course, we know. Brigham Young's done it on and off. Florida State once did it. Miami once did it. But most everybody eventually wants to settle into the confines, scheduling-wise and more, with some sort of conference. Look at Liberty. Like, they were independent, and if it was so great for them, and they got a pretty good amount of money, um, but, you know, they eventually said, nope, we're going to go to a conference route because I think for, you know, all the various reasons, uh, the automatic revenue that comes in, and plus, like, what kind of a TV deal would San Diego State get? If the Pac-12 as an entity with all these major markets are struggling to get the kind of money that they're apparently looking for, or that's the rumor, and uh, they're you know taking a, a year to figure it out, then I, I, I can't imagine where San Diego State would find themselves. Uh, you know that, that would be disastrous as far as exposure goes. All right, so thank you a lot of you early on already for conversations and a lot of it surrounding the uh, possibility of, and the options of realignment. Uh, JM, Big 12 wants to add only Power 5 schools because TV partners have made it clear they will pay full share going forward if they were to add any of the Power 5 additions. And that was a part of the extension that the Big 12 has with Fox, et cetera, ESPN, of course, involved uh, going forward. Hey, by the way, if in case...